Hello, my name is Vince Gansberg, and I'm with the GK Project. This is the Rush Hour Coach Series, and this series is designed for coaches that simply don't have time during the day to plan a practice or come up with activities uh, for their youth soccer players before they go on to the fields to coach. This particular activity is geared for dribbling and specifically geared for players in the 5- to 8-year-old age group. I hope that you find this uh, activity beneficial, and mo but most importantly fun, uh, for your players. This is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this game is called Red Light, Green Light, and there are many different ways to play this game. I'm going to show basically one way with three different variations. Um, as you can see, I've made a rectangle uh, using cones, or it could be a square, either one, depending on the age group. And at you as the coach stand in front of the players, and you have all the players line up on a line. Please exhibit patience when you're working with the five and six year olds. Seven and eight year olds, they kind of understand it and they can get in lines in a line or on a line a little bit better. The first way to play this activity is to do it without the ball. And it's a great way to warm up the kids, where basically when you say green light, they run without the ball, and then when you say red light, they stop. And maybe you can have them stop in a different way. They can stop and stand like a statue. Um, or they can stop with and, and hop on one foot. Um, and then, so they go from one end of the rectangle to the other end of the rectangle. The second variation I have, I say no potholes. Basically, what you do then is you say, okay, everyone get a ball. So then they all get their soccer balls. And they start on the line. And when you say green light, they dribble. When you say red light, they stop the ball with the sole of their feet. And basically, they try and stop the ball when you say red light. Uh, if they don't stop the ball when you say red light, they go back <clears throat> to even with the last player. Don't send them all the way back, but just put them back all the way to the, to the last player. Then when you say green light again, you go. And then basically, they try and get from one end to the other end. Um without having to ever have to go back. The third variation is where I say you add potholes. So you can use cones, rags, towels, whatever, some sort of obstacle that gets in their way. So when they're dribbling, they have to get their head up and they have to learn how to go around the potholes. So again, it's red light, green light, and they're using a ball. And basically when you say green light, they go. When you say red light, they stop. And they try and go from one end to the other end without their ball having left their foot. As far as teachable moments are concerned, we're looking how how they run with the ball. And when they're five and six year olds, don't worry so much about the technique, uh, as more importantly as just keeping their ball under control and, and having it under their foot when you say red light. When they're seven and eight, you can start stressing how to use their pinky toe when they run with the ball. Another teachable moment is they can learn how to get their head up, how to go fast, slow down, and then fast again. When you say green light, after you say red light, they should go fast. And I always try and have them keep the ball within reach. Have them keep the ball within a leg's length away. So this is red light, green light, the directional way. And a variation of this is instead of the coach saying green light or red light, as a coach, you can hold up a red dishcloth or you can hold up a green dishcloth and not say anything. I hope you like that activity of red light, green light, as it gave you three different ways to play it. Um, GK Project stands for Games and Kids. We create um, and provide other services and products. Um, as I will go through quickly on this slide, we provide a parent companion book, which is basically a pocket-sized book that give parents information on how to be a positive youth sports parent on the sideline. We also present working from within shows, which is basically for a parent audience. And uh, basically with the idea of that the parent will come up, the parent audience will come up with a creed or a um, unified message that they will all adhere to when watching their children play youth sports. And lastly, we create coaching companions, which offer activities like you've seen on this video, but in a pocket-sized version 
and for the U6, U8, U10, U11 through U14 age groups. Thank you very much for viewing, and we will follow up with more variations and more lessons uh, in the future. Please visit us on gkproject.net. Thank you, and God bless.